Alright, JC here with another Pacific Fin Spotlight, Episode 2 of Season 3, Emerald City Comic Con. We, I had a lot of fun here. It was just, just a blast. I uh, got to see Leonard Nimoy, Stan Lee. Got footage of that. You're going to see that in a bit. Um, had a, I actually had a quite a bit of help with this uh, episode here. I had a couple of my friends uh, help me out. Uh, ben Vaughn, he has done uh, Fat Guys w uh, with Beards movie review with me uh, in uh, season one. Um, he actually uh, helped out and went in on the floor and did a lot of interviews with a lot of the webcomic artists and various other people. So you're going to get to uh, hear a lot of that uh, via audio. Uh, while he was doing that, that I was filming the uh, panels with Stan Lee, uh, Leonard Nimoy, and uh, Gareth Von Kallenbach, who did the Skewed and Reviewed. Uh, panel as well, so you're going to kind of see a little eclectic bit of, bit of stuff here. I also wanted to introduce a, a, a new there helper, helper. He's going to help me run my camera for a bit. Uh, Alex, Alex, this is Alex. He's an old friend of mine, so he's going to be helping me out here. We're going to have a lot of fun, and uh, I hope you enjoy this show. Starting up, we're going with Gareth Von Kallenbach and Skewed and Reviewed, and getting a lot of the uh, sneak peeks at what's coming up at, at, in movies. So enjoy. The background here, uh, since we got the slideshow, that's Predators. That's Oscar winner Adrian Brody on the set of A Predator Planet. Hence, you see the Predator in the background up against the wall. That's a mock-up. That's the director with one of the Predators. This is coming out in July. There have been rumors it's a prequel. There are rumors it's a sequel. I can tell you this. The script is extremely good. It is incredibly violent, incredibly gory, and the shooting script does have a spot for a general Dutch Schaefer to make a cameo. And for those that remember, that was the character Arnold played in the original, only he was Major Gut Shaper at that time. And you'll be seeing that this July. I can happily tell you that you will not be seeing any more Alien vs. Predator films for a while, because <laughs> uh, Ridley Scott is directing a Predator prequel, which is in pre-production right now. And it will not have Sigourney Weaver. And some people really love the idea of going back to the original, the original director, that sort of thing, but some say doing that could destroy the mythology of the series because it could demystify things like how the spaceship got there, things of that nature. So, so how many of you folks remember going to the arcade and putting a quarter in uh, various video games? Well, you'll be pleased to know that Missile Command, Asteroids, and now Space Invaders are now in early development for films. <laughs> And uh, through my studio contacts, I've learned that basically the movie will involve Bruce Willis with a gun, jumping between a barricade, shooting up and down like this for two hours. So, yes. They figure they can film it for about $50, and uh, you know, we'll be all set. Because this was only natural, because they've already put Candyland, Battleship, and Monopoly into uh, motion. They're doing the Hasbro films. Yeah, question back there. Is there going to be a Pong movie too? Don't, hey, believe me. From your lips to the studio's ears. Hi, this is Ben Vaughn with Pacific Fen Spotlight. Today I'm interviewing... Jade Dodge from Cellar Door Publishing. Okay, uh, what is it that uh, Cellar Door Publishing does? We publish graphic novels and illustrated literature. Um, we try to look for things that have kind of a timeless feel to them. Okay, do you guys uh, have an internet presence at all? Yes, we do. We have a website, cellardoorpublishing.com. Okay, um, and I'm seeing here a couple of titles. Do you mind uh, giving me a brief overview of them? Uh, yeah, well, Minister Jade is uh, the graphic novel that you see over here, and it was actually uh, not, it was on the, uh, sorry, um, the ALA's, 2009 Best Graphic Novels for Teen list, and also the School Library Journal's list of, in 2009 of books that celebrate cultural diversity. Um, and it's kind of a mix between Green Lantern meets Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. So. Oh, okay. It's, actually, that sounds really interesting. <laughs> uh, I, I see one title here called I Am Spartacus, and being a big fan of uh, Roman history and all that entails, uh, what is I Am Spartacus all about? I Am Spartacus is a espionage uh, comic, and it's about a corporation, and all of the heads of the corporation are being murdered, and so this uh, woman sets out to find out who's doing it and why. And it, it's written by Dan Wickline. He's a very wonderful writer. Okay, and I also see a title here called Chance of a Lifetime. It looks to be more of a traditional superhero. 
Right, it's a superhero story set in the 30s and it's about the world's first superhero. And just what it's like to be the average Joe who all of a sudden is given these superpowers. So it's kind of got like that 30s pulp feel to it or is that kind of like the, the thematic that you're going for? Right, right. Okay, and then uh, I have one here that looks like it harkens back to the, uh, the shock and horror comics of the 1950s uh, titled Shocking Gun Tales. Right, and that's an anthology, and all of the stories center, at, center around different characters and their exploits with their guns. Okay, that sounds really awesome. Um, do you have any upcoming projects you'd like to talk about? Uh, yes, we actually have a book called The Marvel, and it's about Jack Parsons, who was, uh, it's a true story, he was um, a rocket scientist, uh, but he was also a self-proclaimed antichrist. And so he was, he got mixed up with the occult and um, L. Ron Hubbard at one point. So it's a very interesting story. And we also have a book later this year called Gaslight, which is a Sherlock Holmes book. And it's very gorgeous. Okay. Is that going to be a graphic novel as well? Yes, they're both graphic novels. And when are those going to be due out? Uh, probably in fall of this year. So looking like August uh, to October 2010? Correct, yes. And who are we interviewing today? I'm Shannon from Seattle Geekly. And I am Matt from Seattle Geekly. Okay, what is Seattle Geekly? Seattle Geekly is a weekly podcast about everything geeky. Uh, we also have an events calendar that goes, you know, for kind of the Northwest. And uh, we have also have a blog that yeah. Matt does. Basically, our, our intent is to encourage uh, those of the geeky persuasion to get out there and you know socialize, do events, do uh, do something other than sitting sitting in your basement and being an a being antisocial. Yes. <laughs> and we also, uh, if we can hook up one person with a book, a comic, a movie, some nerd music, or anything that they hadn't heard of, uh, it's a success. Have you guys ever played Bad Movie Ambush? No, but I watch enough bad movies. I could probably win at that. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm terrified to even think. What, what's Bad Movie Ambush? Bad Movie Ambush is when you tell your friends that you're going to watch something really cool and then you ambush them with a horrifically bad movie. All of our listeners do that to me, so... <laughs> although, <laughs> although I know it's bad. Although I think that's an awesome idea. I think that's how we can get some people over to watch Junk Bucket. True, true, yeah. No, I, I, I actually enjoy bad movies sometimes. G.I. <laughs> Joe was horrible, though. Do you, do you have a favorite bad movie that's actually kind of good? Well, I love everything Sam Raimi's done, except, I mean, the Spider-Man movies are okay, but I meant, like, Evil Dead and Drag Me to Hell, and some people don't like... Army of Darkness is one of my favorite do movies. Do count as bad movies, though? I mean, I think those are, like, legitimately good movies. No, a lot of people say they're bad. I don't know. Um, I also really like Captain Ron oh God. and Encino Man. And uh, what else do we have that I bought that... Oh, and I'm going to buy a book of Eli, and Matt hated that, so... Yes, yes, I do. <laughs> and, and I'm very glad that she watches these bad movies because that means I don't have to. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you guys for your time, and uh, we'll be sure to hear from you in the near future. Oh, uh, before we go, can you give me where we can find your blog uh, and or Facebook and or your podcast? Um, our website is seattle-geekly.com, and on that are buttons to find us on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, all that kind of thing. And uh, our, I, our podcast is available on iTunes, Zoom, apparently, yes, or, you can, or you can get it through our website. So seattle-geekly.com. Okay, any parting words for our listeners? Uh, just having a great time in Emerald City. It's only been a, a, an hour, and, and, and thank you so much. It's so awesome to see everybody here. Yeah, having a great time, and thanks so much for talking to us. No problem. Thank you, and have a good day. So that, of course, is our show for Emerald City Comic Con. I had a blast. Alex, what, did you enjoy yourself? I had a blast. <laughs> this is this is uh, this is Alex's officially his first con. His virginity has now officially been deflowered. So wonderful. so applaud him. We applaud you. <laughs> so and uh, we're it was just it was just cool. It was just totally cool. If you, if you missed it, you really need to show up next year. Of course, Will Wheaton has become a staple. He'll probably be here next year as well. We actually uh, shot his his panel last year, so I didn't do it this year, but it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the show. I had a blast. Um, 
one last thing before I go out. I said this last show, I'm doing it again. Unfortunately, my video and audio equipment was stolen. I need to get it replaced. So help me out with that. I really hope you will. Uh, need to get about $1,500 total, uh, at least $500 to get the auto equipment replaced. And that's going to be my priority. And uh, I hope you can help out. If you can't, no problem. And until next time, this is JC reminding you, your geek is our geek at Pacific Fence Spotlight. I scream and shout so you can hear I tell you that the end is near I still can't stand, I still can't think You win me with my favorite drink Give me that glass, oh I feel asinine And if I can't grump I'll drink plum wine